The audio block in the Gutenberg editor lets you insert an audio player in your post or pages that can play any type of sound file like a music file, a podcast file or any type of file uh, for the end users. In this video, we'll learn how to add it and how to use it. To add an audio block, we have different ways for the first one is by clicking on the add block inserter icon which is like this and search for the audio block here we go just click on this and it gives us this option where we can either upload it from a local folder or choose a file and an audio file from media library or insert it from an external url so let's for the sake of example so if i open the media library uh, it basically filters down all the supported audio files for me it is not showing me or any other media type from the media library so here is one mp3 file that i can select and that's it it makes an audio player another way is by typing a forward slash and type audio and it gives me these options for the audio player the de default uh, inbuilt file player is this one the first audio for the clock and again this gives me the same options i can either upload an external file or choose from media library the another option if you uh, if you want to upload a file from your computer you can basically directly uh, drag a drag a file drag an audio file from your computer to your gutenberg editor like this sorry like this and it uploads the file to the media library and at the same time creates an audio player using the audio block for you so this is quite of the fastest way to add an audio file or an audio player in your page or post if you want to upload the media from your local computer now let's uh, have a look at what options we have for the audio block so in the toolbar we got these two standard options which are available on all the core blocks in fact all the third party blocks as well so the first option shows me the, the transform option which is uh, which can convert a block type to another type so for the audio option we got audio block we got only two options one is the crop group which is available to all the blocks and the other one is file so if i click on the file it converts it to a downloadable file or downloadable uh, file block so this works uh, another way than the player so if you want to upload a downloadable file you can use this block I will convert it back to the audio block anyway so the other option is let me write some content here and so these are three paragraph blocks I've added so the other option are uh, the mover block so it lets you move your block up and down by clicking on these icons or you can also drag to a position where you need that block so like this next we have the alignment option which are the same as other blocks uh, you can align left right center or these two options are dependent on the theme if your theme is supporting the wide width and full width option you will see these options otherwise you won't see that the next option is replace it is like similar to the image block so you can replace the file to another file from your media library or you can upload so if you click on this it will open up the media library so you can replace the audio file with another file that's it now let's see what options we have in the block sidebar for the audio block so we have two panels audio settings and advanced advanced is uh, the similar to all the blocks we have you can assign a custom css class or make a custom html anchor here for the audio settings panel you get three options one is autoplay so if you enable this it will basically autoplay the audio uh, on the page load for the user on the front end and if you make it a loop the audio will keep playing on the front end now this option is really useful which says preload it has four uh, options inside it one first one is browser default 
second one is all true third one is metadata and the last one is none so what it does is it tells the browser what to do with the audio file either auto load it on the page load so suppose you have a long page and your file is placed somewhere below uh, like here so by default it loads the audio file when uh, when you hit the play button and they take some rendering or buffering if you have a long or large audio file but if you select the auto what it does basically is it auto loads the your audio file behind the scene when when the page loads so when the user actually will click the play the audio file will be played without uh, much buffering but at the same time there is a downside of this option that it it may uh, slow down your page speed or page loading time because it also loads that that audio file depending on how long your audio file or what is the size of your audio file so there's a downside of this as well so make sure you make a better decision choosing these options or just leave it to the browser default none basically uh, the none option will uh, basically do not load auto load the audio file at all or on, on neither its metadata metadata like the file name etc or the duration etc uh, it will load nothing uh, on the page load and will will make your page performance fastest the metadata option will load the, some metadata about the file like the duration like the file name caption etc and but it will not load the audio itself so it these two options will uh, make your page loading time faster but if you select auto it will load everything including the metadata and the audio itself when a, when a user bro loads your page so on the page load everything will be loaded it may affect your page loading time as i said so choose wisely if you're not sure you can leave it to the browser default so these are the options for for the audio blog in the sidebar and that's it for the audio blog i i've covered everything i hope if you have any questions you can ask in the comments thank you